Um, so what we have up here right now is basically that the displacement is equal to the initial displacement plus the average velocity times the amount of time that's passed. Um, and we have basically the same thing, but that the final velocity or the velocity at any given time is equal to the initial velocity plus the average acceleration multiplied by time. Um, basically, for all of your physics classes, acceleration is already going to be an average number, so we can just cross that average part out and put that that's going to be acceleration, and that's how we'll use it in these videos. Um, so knowing these two equations, um, we can get to other equations that we might want to use. So fairly often, we're going to want to know a displacement given an acceleration, and we aren't going to want to have to use both of these equations. So we use the fact that average velocity is really going to be the initial velocity plus the final velocity divided by 2. So we plug that part in for average velocity into this equation. Um, and occasionally, you'll be given an initial velocity and a final velocity over some period of time, um, say that you're starting here, and you just have, you know that you start going 5 miles per hour, and you finish going at some other velocity, let's say 10 miles per hour. Um, and given that acceleration is linear, which it always is, um, for our applications, we just want to know the final displacement, and we can figure that out by plugging these two into there and knowing the time us to get there. Um, that said, that one's pretty particular, and more often, we're going to know the initial velocity, and we're going to know the acceleration, and then we're going to want to be able to find the final displacement. So we're going to plug this equation into here for the final velocity, so that we get an equation that looks like this. Two down to there. 